All right. Yeah. Hi, everyone. For now, I will actually be sharing on the second part, which is into employee engagement, how to get your employee to really engage with the team. So first of all, we have this uh, check-in function, which is known as PPP function, planning, progress, and problem. So one sample here from here, you can see the team members, they can actually lay down the things that they really wanted to achieve for the week and the plans throughout the entire week as well. So from here, leader will be able to identify if the employee is actually facing any kind of challenges, whether they need help, they can come in place immediately to provide this constructive feedback. All right. So apart from that, whenever users completed the task, they can change the status accordingly or if they face any issue or things which is stuck. Okay. All right. So apart from this uh, daily and weekly planning, team member can also have this weekly target whereby the leader can track if the employee is actually on track or not on a weekly basis. So the leader can also get the whole team to actually submit this as a weekly report. Okay, so one example is here. Yeah, as a weekly report from here, you can see, yeah, the team member will be able to submit this weekly report to the leader and they will be able to write down their summary, the challenges, and they will be able to reply the question that the leader actually asked. So apart from this, check-in function, the next one, which is known as one-on-one -on -one meeting function. Okay, so for this one-on-one -on -one meeting function, it is more like a way of leader use it as a tool to coach their employee. So one example, for example, like Sean have a meeting with James. So for any relevant kind of discussion points that they have been conducted during the meeting, everything will be laid out accordingly. And also the things that both parties promise to execute will be able to planned out inside the system here accordingly, which is the actions item. So basically this will help both parties to remember what are the tasks that they promised to do but have not executed yet. It will remind us from time to time under this one-on-one -on -one meeting function. So the next one, which is more of a 360 uh, feedback, which is a multi rattle kind of uh, feedback assessment, whereby leader can use it as a way to assess the employee soft skill, their interpersonal skill, leadership, character, behavior, and all. So from here, you can see we can plan out every any, any kind of this relevant uh, template and then we assign to the individual here. And then at one glance, the, the peers, the self, the subordinates, and the supervisor will be able to see the gap in this spider chart. Okay, What is the gap and how can I actually help this person to improve on all these aspects? All right, so basically this is for the 360 uh, feedback. And lastly, which is the ranking function okay so this ranking is actually a way to encourage a healthy competition within an organization right so for example like we can put our salesperson salesperson one two three four and then we can track who is actually contributing the most for every single of this month and if they contribute the most how can we actually compensate them and continuously motivating the team in a healthy competitive environment so basically this is the thing that i wanted to share on employee engagement. Thank you.